Okay, so what we have here, I opened up my Twitter. For you to ask me anything, well, almost anything, like tastefully lewd still, but in like TOS compliant. If I choose not to answer your question, I have to give five subs to chat. I'm only reading the TOS safe answers. We have all of them in. I think we are good to go. Let's get started. Are you a talking melons? If so, can I stab? No, what? What? Am I a talking melons? Do I look like a, to a talking dog, dude? No stab, unless it's with your knot uh, under my tail. Great question. Next, why are you pubby? Cause canines are the best. Cause felines, bleh, and dragons. Dragons are neat, but canines are the best. And I resonated the most with them. Have I ever actually streamed in a state of undress? I have sat in this chair in my boxers. That is the most undressed that I've been because my computer setup is in a public space in like my house and there's no door. I don't have a door, but nearly naked. So spit or swallow watermelon seeds. Okay, so definitely spit out watermelon seeds, but definitely swallow puppy batter. I hope that answers your question. Spitters or quitters? When the devs saw the kinks on your profile, is that why they decided to pull the plug on Howler? What the fuck? Yes. I will say there are a lot worse kinks on the internet than the ones I have. Howler shut down because the devs were tired of doing it or something. I don't actually fucking know. But it wasn't because of me and my very, in furry terms, tame kink list. Thank you. Next. Could I describe my favorite picture of Wolflink? Oh, this is another fuzzy question. Could I describe my favorite picture of Wolflink? Well, he's, uh, well, 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 um, uh, there was the, okay, well, basically it was Wolflink stuffing his <laughs> into Cass's <laughs> What the fuck? What? How is this TOS safe? I said tastefully. Manga TOS. What the fuck is this? I don't know what it's called off the top of my head, but it was like a border collie and a horse. No, not that one, Nemo. That's a fox. I'm talking about the border collie one. When did I come to terms with my sexuality and how did it affect your existing relationships with your loved ones? I don't know. I just kind of always have just been myself and like I've never talked to my IRL loved ones about it. It's a conversation that I'm just not going to have with my parents ever. How do you explain that? Be like, mom, dad, gender doesn't matter to me. I love the person for who they are, not what's in their pants. I guess that's not so hard. I think I realized it when I was in my teens and I was probably like early 20s when I just stopped giving a fuck. I was like, yeah, whatever. I am who I am. No shame. Wow, this is another serious one. This is Wolfang. My question, where do you see yourself in five years? Ideally, still being a dog on the internet for you guys with significantly more subs on YouTube and Twitch so I can pay bills better. How easy are you, really? That's kind of a loaded question. For the right person, really easy. For the not right person, I'm like a Rubik's Cube, which isn't saying much because I can do a Rubik's Cube in a minute and a half. Maybe you could do me in a minute and a half? What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? Serious responses only? There's two, and they're both while I was driving. Two weeks after I got my driver's license. So I was 16. My friend Worldly was 17. You guys know Worldly. Uh, we were going up a dirt road in town to go like drift our trucks because I had my dad's truck. He had his uncle's truck. And like all the drive up the mountain, I had this gross feeling in my stomach. I was like, this is fun. Like, I feel gross right now. Like, I don't feel good. Like, this isn't good. So we get to the top. We're like looking at the stars, just hanging out. And he's like, okay, like, let's go back down. And I was like, you go first, dude. I'm going to take it slow. Like, I'm not feeling well. He's like, that's fine. So like I'm driving down the mountain, I'm like waiting enough so all his dust from his tires have settled and stuff. And I come around this corner and I see sideways headlights. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And there's Worldly standing in the middle of the road, waving his arms, his trucks upside down. There's blood all over him. And I'm like, holy fuck, like this isn't good. Like his truck is blocking the entire dirt road upside down, glass everywhere, broken. I get out of my truck. I'm like, Jesus, dude, are you okay? He's like, yeah, my elbow's fucked. And it's like just meat hanging off. There's like blood everywhere. I'm like, like, holy shit. So I grabbed some napkins out of the glovey. When he was in his accident, he lost his left shoe. The tape deck blew out of his cassette player. We had to find his iPod in the road and he had a rip in his shirt that showed his left nipple. And like, we were in good spirits. We're like, holy fuck. Like, what the fuck just happened? He's like, oh man, like I lost her on that corner. We get to the hospital, like ER. This is small town. It's two in the morning. He's like, you got to go wake my mom up, dude. Because I was like staying the night at his house. And I was like, fuck. So like I drop him off at the hospital. I go back to his house. I knock on his mom's door. I was like, Dale, Worldly was in a car accident. We need to go to the hospital. He's okay. She's like, what the fuck? 
like putting on her clothes. We drive to the hospital. He was fine. He got a couple stitches in his elbow, a couple bruises. He was fine. Then he had to go get his like truck towed the next day. So that was one of the scariest things. Seeing one of my friend's trucks upside down in the middle of a dirt road. But I had that weird feeling in my tummy. Like I didn't go first down the mountain. I was like, I'm going to take it slow. Like I, I don't feel good. <laughs> Not, not great. That was two weeks after I turned 16. I've driven like a grandma since. There was another time I was driving. This was like last year. I was driving back to my parents' house from Vancouver. It's the highway one. It's speed limit like 110. Like you fucking, you'd go. I'm in the fast lane, far left side. This guy merges off the overpass. Doesn't even look. Blows across three lanes of traffic and just about fucking takes me out. I like slam my brakes, honk my horn, and he just slips right into the lane. Doesn't even look. I almost died right there. I almost fucked fucking died. Driving is scary, man. <laughs> Driving is scary. What was my most embarrassing experience? Why, you gonna get a boner or something? Me as a person, I don't really get embarrassed all that often. Like, it's just not something that, not, not something that really happens. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in who I am and what I do. Oh my god, okay, I have a fart story about it. I was probably like 13. One of my, like, from then on, best friends, John, just moved to town. It was the first time I'd ever been to his house. Like, his parents just moved to town, moved him to town. Like, we're in school together. We've known each other like two weeks. First time at their house. We're sitting in the living room playing on his computer, and like, his dad's like right behind us in his chair watching TV and I was like fuck like I got a fart like this is bad so I was like 13 year old me brain I was like oh I'll just cough through it like I'll cough fart we'll hide it <laughs> and just completely mistimed and his dad just starts fucking losing it he's like oh, only old people do that and I'm sitting there I'm like oh my god mortified absolutely mistimed it wasn't even close wasn't even close another embarrassing experience when my ex-girlfriend and I first started dating her friend had flew in from Saskatchewan to like visit her and it was like my first time me Meeting her and stuff and we were sitting in my car in front of like walmart or something and my ex picked up my wallet and inside i had <laughs> i had okay so you know how when you buy a silicone sculpture from bad dragon it gives you like a sticker i put that sticker in my wallet because i was like hey, that's neat my ex was like what's this sticker for what's a dragon sheath and i was like oh my god she's like no ha, the dragon sheath the sheath the dragon sheath wearable and she just kept fucking reading it and i was like can you stop just shut the fuck up shut up like right now, just stop, stop. And her friend was like, kind of, I don't know if she knew or not, but she probably knew. And I was like, fuck me. That's th those two stand out in my mind. Though I don't really get embarrassed all that much, honestly. It's just not a thing. Can I talk about the forbidden arrows yet, Reika? No, it was in perpetuity. You are not allowed to talk about the ice arrows ever again. That was the deal. That was the deal. Nice try. Nice try though. Am I a good boy? Yes. No. What was your furry awakening? What helped you discover that you were a furry? I'm pretty sure I talk about this on stream all the time. I was 11 years old and I was watching Inuyasha and I was like, oh, dog boy with tail and ears. I like that. And then I think I was like 12 when I saw my first furry porn and I was like, I'm going to save this on my USB stick. And I still have that USB stick somewhere. <gasps> oh, and then Wolf Link. Oh my God. I played that game and I was like, oh boy, I have feelings. What is it, 16 years later, I'm still playing as a dog boy with swords? I mean, the swords are a lot more red now, but you know. What's your biggest kink that you haven't talked about on stream? Well, you see, the thing about that, it's it's kind of, it's difficult to talk about. Oh, would you look at that? A five pack of gifted subs next. Are you willing to have a hot tub party with everyone in the pack? Inappropriate touching may or may not be included. What? What pack? Whose pack? What pack are we talking about? Hot tub party? You should never do lewd things in a hot tub because those chemicals will fuck up your insides. I definitely have a hot tub party. I don't think I'd be down for inappropriate touching though. Depends who's there and how long I've known you. Ow, don't throw shit at me. Yeah, I'm down for a hot tub party. I'm definitely gonna have shorts on though, probably. What if chat buys me 170 dinners in the form of dollars into my PayPal? Sure, each, each though. What would be the first thing you do if you woke up as your first Sona? Is that a question? Obviously, I would fucking jerk off, dude. Even if it was the middle of the day, even if I didn't just wake up, it would be like, oh, I gotta go, uh, I gotta go take care of something. And then I just go jerk off. If I wasn't a Kali, what would my Sona have been? Probably wolf. Wolf or a dragon? I don't know. Did the dog, canine of some sort. Maybe a dragon. I don't know. That's a tough one. Probably a wolf because you like werewolf, you know? But Border Collie's the best. Paws, maws, or tails? Why not all? And butts isn't on the list. Tails are neat. Maws are neat. Paws are also neat. I like all of the above. How much to eat a whole slice of the fur con pizza? Oh, fuck. I don't want to eat that pizza. I want to be the pizza. To eat a slice of that pizza? Assuming everything was kosher and there was no, like, you know, 
badness or unsanitariness. Fuck, that'd be challenging. Probably like, let's say 5,000 USD. I'd do it. I'd do it for 5,000. That's like my comfortable level. Red button. You become a werewolf, but you can't be horny anymore. Do you press it? That is a hard question. Holy shit. Wow. Probably still press it. Yeah, probably still press it, honestly. That would be a big part of me gone, though. Jesus. But yeah, I, I, think, I think I'd press it, honestly. Slam it like the nut button, but after that, you wouldn't have a nut button to slam because it wouldn't be anything. Mind describing your stream- Oh, this is another fuzzy question! God damn it! Mind describing your streaming setup? Like, uh, what hardware software do I use? D a computer. That, that would, that's like an entire fucking stream in itself. There's lots. What's my most embarrassing slash worst poop story? First of all, I'm gonna preface this with, there are two types of people in this world. Those who have shit their pants and fucking liars. Those are the only two types of people. Secondly, we're gonna go back to 2014 for a second. September of 2014. I was in the middle of detoxing from antidepressants. And if you don't, no, or have never done that, it fucks up your entire body. You get mega fucked up. And one of the side effects of detoxing from antidepressants is like whack diarrhea. Like whack. It's whack. You're fine and then four seconds later you're like, man, I'm about to shit my pants. Like it's fucked. It is fucked. It's whack. I'm detoxing from antidepressants. It's a week after a convention. Down in Vancouver, I'm house sitting for some friends while they go down to PAX in Seattle. So I'm alone at my friend's house in Vancouver, just house sitting, taking care of their cats for the weekend, whatever. So I'm sitting there. I was like, I'm gonna go to this store and check it out and then go back. On my way back to the house, driving in my car, I'm doing 60 kilometers. Well, no, I was doing like 40 going up the hill like final turns before the house it's like an apartment complex and i'm like just just cruising and my tummy was like oh you need to poop right now like you are about to poop holy shit like i gotta poop so i'm in third gear doing a 40 a speed up to 60 go around the corner and a cop pulls me over like flashes his lights he comes up to my window he's like do you know how fast you were going i was like sir I have no problem paying this ticket. I'm about to shit my pants. I'm staying at that house right over there. I'm house sitting for the weekend. Like, can I leave my car here and just go poop? Like, I don't care, dude. Like, I got to shit right fucking now. He's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. How about you drive over there and I'll follow you? And I'm like, whatever, whatever, dude. Deuce bumps at this point. Fucking cold sweats. Like, I'm shaking. I have to poop so bad. So, like, I park in the parking lot. I don't even pull into a stall. Like, I just fucking ditch the car in the middle of the fucking parking lot. Run inside. Just barely make it. You know when you sit down to poop and you fart and it makes like an airlock seal with the toilet? It wasn't even that. It was like as I'm pulling my pants down, I am shitting into this toilet. Fucking unload. It was not pretty. That is one of those deuce bump shits where you want to have a shower right after because you feel so fucking gross. I absolutely unload in this toilet like just just fucking ruined it like i feel bad because it's not even my house like i'm house sitting this toilet is destroyed like i feel a little bit better now pull up my pants like wipe obviously pull up my pants wash my hands go back outside the cop standing there has written me a ticket here's your speeding ticket i'm like oh yeah yeah i can't like, you this is you weren't going way too fast and i was like dude like i just about shit my pants right there he's like yeah Tell it to the judge kind of thing. So I got a $178 speeding ticket and I almost shit my pants. So I did contest the ticket, but then I was going and it was in college and I couldn't drive down to Vancouver for court. So I ended up just paying the fine. It was like 150 bucks or something in the end. That was, uh, yeah, that was the worst poop thing that's ever happened. Well, other than, you know, like accidentally farting and squirting a bit, like it happens. How many sexual encounters have you had with guys and did they regret it afterwards? Holy shit. We just go from like funny poop story to holy shit. That's serious. Is that like total or like just counting the number of guys in general? Okay. So like, I'm going to answer the second half first i don't know if they regretted it or not i'm gonna assume no because i've never heard anything i'm kind of a catch what can i say fucking got him how many guys have i slept with or how many encounters with the guys that i've slept with i had a boyfriend in high school for two years so like a lot that would be like hundreds yeah no i don't think anyone's ever regretted it if they did they've never told me about it sexual encounters like individual encounters uh, easily in the the multiple hundreds because i again i had a boyfriend for two years in high school number of guys total i don't know maybe like seven six or seven roughly the same for girls too would I consider doing a Daki V2? What would be the pose design if so? I've thought about doing a safe for work one because a lot of people are like, we can't buy the Daki because it's not safe for work. And I'm like, I get that. So like, I've thought about it, but... Holy fuck! What the fuck? Dude! Uh, here's your ticket. I think it's supposed to be the other way around. Like, I give the cop the money. Holy fuck, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think if I did a Daki, it would just be safe for work.
Still spicy posing, though. Okay, I think, I think I've answered everything. Other than funny, Fuzzy's, like, 19 questions. It's time to stop! Yes, I think that's it. Okay, thank you guys for participating. That was actually a lot of fun. And I only lost five subs. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. You asked the poop question? Wait, there wasn't a poop question on there? Was there a poop question? Where's the poop question?